Cotan! I really, really missed you! I'm not letting go of you this time, I swear! Uh, so why is this unrivaled beauty hugging someone who's a real loner, textbook introvert like me? Well, you see, explaining something short of a miracle needs us to peek back into a few years ago. From now. Kao-chan, do you Pinky promise me that we'll be best friends forever even if we go separate ways? I promise! Ao-chan, you and I are just the bestest of friends! And no matter how far we may be separated, our hearts will surely be together as one! Kao-chan... Uh -huh. Just another silly dream. Still, that dream kind of brings back some memories. Uh, when was that again? I guess nursery, right? Nah, might be during my early grade school days. Man, those times were just the best. I'm Koichi Suzumura, currently in high school, and a real introvert and loner while we're at it. I was your usual everyday kid up until grade school. However, I got exposed to the concept of extroverts and introverts by middle school. It was then I realized that I leaned towards being an introvert. During high school, I really wanted to cast away this introvert side of me. However, I failed miserably, and now I'm trudging the life of an introvert, and fair enough. Before I noticed it, I wasn't able to make friends and felt all alone inside the classroom. I was living a really dull school life, and I felt desperately alone. Everything was just painted in bleak gray. Huh. That's school for you, I guess. But there's still this feeling of being upset over something, and probably the reason why I saw that dream? Hmm. Pinky swear me that we'll be best friends forever? In that dream, I was supposed to be doing this pinky promise with my childhood friend, Aoi Miyanami, who uttered those words. Shy, a crybaby, an introvert? That was her. We always did things together, no matter what. She tailed me from behind, calling me Ko-chan. I'd always thought I'd spend my days together, inseparable from this cute girl back then forever. However... Huh? You're moving out, Sean? Yep. Mom and Dad said we kinda need to go abroad, so... Bummer. So this means we're parting ways already? Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna be separated. Like, I want to be with you forever and ever. I don't want to go to a place without Ko-chan. Aw, don't cry, Ao-chan. Crying doesn't really suit a cutie like you, Ao-chan. Ko-chan. And it's not like we're not going to see each other again. I won't forget you, Ao-chan. No matter where you go. Okay. Ko-chan, do you think he promised me that I'll be best friends forever even if we get separated? I promise! Ao-chan, you and I are just the bestest of friends! And no matter how far we may be separated, our hearts will surely be together as one! Ko-chan, yay! I swear I won't forget your promise! A few weeks after doing that pinky promise, Aoi finally moved abroad. Now that I think of it, probably my days grew boring and monotonous after that girl left. Still makes me wonder why that dream keeps popping up. Just how much do I miss Aoi, man? Aw, oh, dude, haven't you heard? There's gonna be a transfer student starting today! Huh? A transfer student? Oh, I hope she's real cute! I know, right? Man, I'd be all excited if she was really pretty! Maybe there's a chance I'd date her, too! A possibility of dating her, huh? And true to the rumors that flew around, that transfer student came after a few minutes. Now everybody settle down. I'm here to introduce the newest addition to our class starting today. A transfer student. Please, you may now come inside. I'm Aoi Miyanami. I have been living abroad till two weeks ago. I've probably spent more of my life overseas than here in Japan. I might take some time getting to know all of you, but I hope to get along with everyone well. Aoi Miyanami, huh? Weird. Talking about witnessing such a coincidence. Really, to meet somebody with the same name as hers after seeing that dream? Everything just lines up so perfectly. 
Oh. What? She's looking in this direction. Wait, wait, hold on. Did I do something weird? And it's not like I did something to garner attention. Kochan, I miss you. Huh? Oh, what? Oh, I really, really wanted to meet you. Still, I feel guilty over the fact that I wasn't able to meet you till I returned here. Um, but I'm real glad I'm finally here. I promise I won't leave you ever. We're together forever and ever, Kochan. Uh, just hold on right there. So you're, uh... Did you already forget all about me? Look, it's me, Aoi. The Aoi. Like your childhood friend, Aoi-chan. Huh? Is it really you, Aoi? You look totally different. You really had me thinking you were a total stranger with coincidentally just the same name. <laughs> Did I really change that much? It's not that you simply changed or anything. Let me see. Do I look cuter compared to before? I mean, you were already cute back then. You're way cuter now. Oh, Kochan, you're just like I remembered back then. Uh, which part? Like, you're still the same Kochan back then. Oh, I'm so glad. Should I take that as a compliment? Oh, you're silly. Why, of course, obviously. Anyways, I'm just glad we'll be attending the same school starting today. And that means we can be together every day. I hope we'll have lots of fun starting today. Oh, I can't wait, Kochan! And that's how, thanks to Aoi, I started my school life fresh anew. The next morning... Kochan, I want to go to school together. Aoi, why are you here? Oh, I wanted to go to school together, and so I decided to meet you here. Wow, you still remember my address, huh? Oh, we hung out all the time back then. Obviously, I know it by heart. Well, kind of. I mean, there's no way I'd forget about you, Kochan. What are you dealing dallying for? Hurry up! Um, keep dwaddling and we're gonna be late, so... Wait, Owie! You're way too clingy! You're being silly! Isn't this normal? If it was me back then, I would've clung to you like there's no tomorrow! Nah, comparing things with the way they were back then is gonna be weird. Why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> oh my, are you embarrassed? Of course I'd feel embarrassed. I mean, you're just too cute. <laughs> oh, you're just so sweet, Kochan. Look, didn't I tell you not to cling too much? <laughs> um, no way. We were separated till now, Kochan, so... I'd like to make up for those times we were apart from each other. Okay, that's why I'm clinging on to you for dear life. What the heck are you saying? My heart's gonna give up any moment if you continue to do things like this. Do you hate this, Kochan? I mean, me being clingy? No, it's not like I hate it. I mean, I'm kinda happy with this and so, uh... Huh, why didn't you say so? Uh, what is it this time? Nothing, really. Quit spacing out. We should hurry up. Then during lunchtime... Kochan, I want to have lunch together. Sure. <laughs> so, I made bentos. I want you to try them. Bento? And you made them? You, Aoi? Yep. Oh, looky here. Ta-da! Whoa! That totally looks good! And the way you picked the colors? Pretty cool. It's like a pro did it. <laughs> Kochan, oh, you flatter me too much. Well then, dig in. Say ah, uh, Kochan. Say ah? Uh? Look, I said we can have lunch together, but you don't really need to go that far and feed me. Nope, I want to feed you. Now, now, don't be shy. Mouth open wide, please. Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> Is it delicious? Whoa, it's really delicious. <laughs> See, I did tons of practice. I wanted you, Kochan, to try something really delicious. You practiced cooking? Just for me? Yes, I did. Like, I honestly wanted to make you something such as this bento for a long time. Thanks, Aoi. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. You need to eat more, Kochan. Mm. The moment Aoi showed up, 
My school life just got colorful all of a sudden. That once bleak, dull world of mine was now daubed in bright colors. Every day was bliss. I guess this was the very definition of what a rose-colored view of school life really was. Still, she's being all this affectionate towards me. I wonder why. Maybe it's because she's my childhood friend? I held these doubts close to me for a while. Time flew by, and now semester exams are just around the corner. So, this goes like this, and that... Huh? Wait, all right, that should be that. Whoa. No matter which angle you look from, always just really pretty. Hmm, pretty? Maybe. How about cute? Nah. How about both of them? She was really cute back then, but now... She's on par with even the most gorgeous models. No, she's above models. An angel, perhaps? Kochan, is something wrong? Huh? You're spacing out and just staring at me. Thought something's bothering you. Uh, sorry, I was so fixated over you. Huh? <laughs> was that it? If that's the case, you can look at me as much as you want. What the heck are you saying? I can't possibly do that. Oh, you're no fun. I even gave you permission to stare. And while we're at it, I won't mind if you go all feely, see? Look, Kochan, here's a special just for you. You could try pinching my cheeks. Why are you saying things so casually? Okay, I've had enough. <laughs> uh, by the way, Aoi. What's up? Why are you this attentive towards me? For real, Aoi. Something like you is better suited with a cooler crowd, rather than talking to a loner like me. Well, see, it's because you're my Prince Charming. Me? A prince? Nah, I'm nobody. <laughs> oh, and you're a naive prince at that too. But that side of you makes you charming. What do you mean by Prince Charming? I've no clue what you're talking about. Is she playing a prank on me or something? Hey, Kochan, you need to focus on studying. Focus. Oh, I'm gonna wing our SEM exams. The following day, these unanswered questions still were weighing on my mind. Where the heck did Aoi go off this time? Our teach is asking us to relay this message, but... Yeah. Oh, there you are. Hey, I'll... Oh, really? <laughs> wow, that's surprising. I told you, right? But hold on. It gets better than this. <laughs> OMG, oh, that's weird. <laughs> and then there's this too, so actually... Oh, those two make a great couple. Yep, like a good looking couple is what you mean. Like, if we're talking about a good match for Aoi, I mean, is there really anybody besides him? Obviously, I totally agree. Yeah. Um, the other boys are a total mismatch for her. Yes, right. Huh. It's just as they said. No way someone like Aoi would hit it off with a loner like me. Who am I kidding? I read this whole situation wrong. I got my hopes up and assumed it was okay sitting down together with Aoi. And I... <sighs> Dude, you did something totally lame back there, Koichi. Oh, Kochan! Um, so I've heard this funny story earlier, and I want to share it with you, Kochan. Sorry, Aoi. Kochan? Um, I'm kind of busy right now. Later then. Uh, wait, Kochan! This is bad. I, I really can't hang out with Aoi right now. My thoughts and feelings are just over the place. I can't stand this, but I like Aoi. No, I love her. She's the only one I can ever... I... Ah! Why didn't I notice this sooner? I'm such an idiot! Since that day, I started distancing myself from Aoi. I mean, the scene back then, I just couldn't get it out of my head. Aoi just wasn't suited for someone like me. The more I thought of that, though, the more I felt dejected. In the end, I stopped talking to her. After distancing myself from her, my school life then reverted to those gloomy days. Every single mundane day, just wasn't fun. But is it really okay to let things be the way they are now? And continue acting like a real coward? <laughs> Instead of moping around, maybe I should be out there looking for a solution, right? Man, I can't spend my time overthinking about stuff. I need to do something about this. 
Yeah. And so, I was dead set on changing after that day. I needed to do something about my body and started hitting the gym. I started exercising as I wanted to change this thin and lanky body of mine. Next on my list was learning to dress better. My current do just wasn't going to cut it if I was to stand next to this really pretty cutesy girl, or should I say, Angel, Aoi. I had to look more refined. Another thing, if I wanted to deliver results in the least amount of time, if there's something I could pour my efforts into, I'd be studying. And so, I studied really hard. Whatever the case may be, I can't meet Aoi at the moment. I just look whiny if I meet her now. No use crying over spilt milk. I may look selfish right now, but please, just wait a little longer, Aoi. Then, the long-awaited day before our test came, after weeks and days of grinding. I finally asked Aoi to meet up, after avoiding her all that time. Kochan! Just... why? Like, you've been avoiding me all these times, right? Did I do something that could have hurt your feelings, Kochan? If so, I, I want to know, please. I'll probably apologize for such things. No, Aoi. If there's someone who should be apologizing, that should be me. What do you mean? So, I got really jealous seeing you talk to another guy besides me. And yeah, that guy suits you better than someone like me. That got me thinking if it was really okay for me to be together with you. And so, I avoided you. I see. That's what it's all about. And, uh, you see, I'm really sorry for being so selfish and avoiding you over a silly reason. That was pretty lame of me. And so, I spent these last few weeks improving myself. I wanna... I wanna be your prince once more, Aoi. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that? I have something to tell you, but please, wait a little longer. I swear, I'll tell it to you once I'm ready. Just wait a little bit longer until our semester exam results are announced. If I ace this exam, I'll be honest about something. Okay, I'll be waiting then. I'll be waiting, so promise me you'll do that, okay? Then finally, the results for our semester exams came. I got in third place! Wow, Kochan! You had the third place for a year level! OMG, congrats, Kochan! Thanks, Aoi. So, yeah. What? About that thing. Remember I promised to tell you something if my scores are good for these exams? Yep, so what's this all about, Kochan? I like you, Aoi. I love you! I know I'm still not that good for your standards, but I still like you. I really, really like you. Kochan. I swear, I'm going to do my best to improve myself. I'm going to be a man who could stand proud right beside you. That's why, Aoi. I swear, I'll be your Prince Charming once again. Aoi? Kochan, you were always there to lend a hand. You were always there at my side when I was scared and lonely. You helped erase these anxieties that have been bothering me. So, you see, you were always my Prince Charming since the beginning, Kochan. That's why. Promise me you'll be my prince forever and ever, okay? Sure! <laughs> oh, I love you, Kochan. I love you too, Aoi! And with that, we became an official couple. Plus, we kind of caused a fuss doing such an open confession in front of a crowd. That resulted in us being that legendary couple within our school. It's pretty cool, too, that our classmates looked after our backs. Since that happened, days, weeks passed by, and... Like, oh, this grape is so delicious! You want to try mine, too? Yep. Oh, oh, look at those two. Aren't they lovely? They're just a perfect match. Are they both models? Oh, they look so happy. I'm getting all jelly. <laughs> you heard that? A perfect match. Well, they're obviously right. And you're my number one prince, Kochan. And we're gonna be the perfect match forever and ever. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.